Hey, do you want to buy rare species of moths? Then you must visit a yearly event named the HES Annual Exhibition and Trade Fair. This is a small but very nice insect fair that's being held in the vicinity of London every year. And they sell cocoons, pupa and eggs of some very rare moth species usually. For butterfly and moth lovers it is highly recommended. Usually I like to make vlogs, but today I'm going for a different style video, which is called an impression. Instead of talking into the camera with my face, I'll just show you the atmosphere and surroundings and using a voiceover. If you are a collector, expect to see specimens being traded of numerous rare species. Some people are against insect collection, but personally I support it especially if it's done properly with labels. Insect collecting does not deserve the hate it gets online sometimes, because not many people realize how much it has contributed to our understanding and knowledge of these animals. Apart from that, many live animals were being traded, from mantids to stick insects, to a huge diversity of things to be harnessed. This enormous Katie did, I really want to breed myself in captivity next year. This piece seems to be new to the hobby, it's called Silicofera grandis and they are enormous. Next I would love to show you my friend Andrew's table. He runs the Cameroon Arc project. This wildlife conservation project also does research on the native moth species of Cameroon. And they have revealed new life cycles and possibly new species. Andrew is doing fantastic work and I would love to visit his project in Cameroon someday. It's quite similar to the project I have been working on in Brazil, except in Africa. Not only was he selling numerous African species, he and his friend Robin were also selling rare moths, such as Anterea montezuma. And here's some Hylis creatica caterpillars. That reminds me I should plant spurge someday, so I can raise all the species of spurge feeding hog moths out there as well. The Americans watching this must be really jealous right now, when it comes to the species we can legally trade in Europe. Come to London, come to the annual exhibition and trade fair of the Amateur Entomologist Society of the United Kingdom. Yeah, we need some pupa out of that. Yeah, it eats grass. Just need to move to East Africa. <laughs> yeah, you need somebody in Kenya. I've got half a dozen of all the sample. But they're grass feeders. Yeah. All the Buniopsis are grass feeders. So they probably take these exotic moths. There's a, very, uh, a few very big ones that I consider attending. Um, in Paris, there's a very big one, it's called like a UFC or something. Have you heard of it? And uh, in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Here's my friend Matt Simmons selling the pupa of butterflies. He is a big supplier for butterfly pupa worldwide. 
people order from his website and the company is called The Entomologist. Here's my friend Ali. She was selling some diversity of stick insects and more creatures too. Well, this year's video was short but sweet. I hope you enjoyed this short impression. Maybe next year I will do a bigger and more extensive video if I can. Bye bye my beautiful subscribers, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. <laughs> Just a free PR would be lovely. Yeah. It's a cute one. Yeah. Like vlogging but I didn't feel like it. Next year I could make a vlog and just interview people, but today I didn't really have the energy for it.